Mulaga Hospital is one of the oldest hospitals in Uganda, having opened in 1913 on Mulago Hill. WBS TV brings you a series of stories on the historical development, challenges and future plans. Watch out for a series of these stories in our Sunday Prime News Live. Patients in Mulago orthopedic unit come from various parts of the country due to lack of inadequate orthopedic doctors and lack of equipment to use in treating fractures. Out of the 11 regional hospitals, only seven have an orthopedic doctor, increasing the referral pressure on Mulago Hospital as the head of the orthopedic unit, Dr. Tito Beyeza explains. All the complicated fractures all over the country end up coming to Mulago. And then also, these hospitals, though they have orthopedic surgeons, they don't have equipment. Some stay for months. Uh, it is determined by the magnitude of the injuries they have. There are those who come with the multiple fractures and also with the skin loss, sometimes also muscle loss. So those we work with nature, we wait for their wounds to heal and we wait for fresh flesh to form on top of their wounds so that we get skin from one side of their body and use it to cover those wounds, skin grafting. According to Dr. Beyeza, Uganda has only 40 orthopedic doctors for Ugandans totaling to almost 35 million, according to the latest population results. Mulago Hospital itself has only 13 orthopedic doctors handling over 70 accident victims every day. Our casualty is quite busy. Every hour we are receiving these injuries. And Mulago being the National Referral Hospital, so we receive patients from all parts of Uganda. And the problem is compounded by specialist orthopedic surgeons being inadequate. About 10 of these are admitted in the hospital. Majority patients who sustained multiple or compound fractures spend a longer period in the hospital where multiple compound fractures victims have to undergo an operation, the hospital's challenge is inadequate tools to use in the treatment of fractured limbs. If we can use the private patient uh, uh, gauge, if patients were all going to the private wing of Mulago to be treated for their injuries, uh, a study was done where it was found that more than half of the entire hospital budget is being spent on these fractures. It is hard to, to come up with a, a quick figure of how much money is spent per patient. But uh, those patients who are treated on the private wing of our hospital, who buy the metals we use to fix their fractures, at the same time, pay for their medicines and services. Average, they pay four to five million when they are leaving the hospital. Other challenges faced by the orthopedic doctors are the outdated equipment used in previewing multiple or compound fractures. The scan in use at the clinic breaks down almost every week, putting the lives of the bone fracture patients at risk. When we have to repair a broken bone it requires a lot of technology sometimes we need an x-ray machine in the operating room which is called the c-arm and as we talk even hours here in the hospital of mulago broke down it is easy to cause a fracture but very expensive to treat it this is the reason mulago hospital has been at the forefront in the campaigns for safe driving as well as border border operations as a means to reduce on the prevalence of accidents on the roads and reduce pressure on the orthopedic unit. Harris Tembo, WBS, Mulago Hospital. Mulago Hospital is one of the oldest hospitals in Uganda, having opened in 1913 on Mulago Hill. WBS TV brings you a series of stories on the historical development, challenges and future plans. Watch out for a series of these stories in our Sunday Prime News Live.